Today it's race day and I'm really looking forward to race again because this year I really haven't raced that much at all. And after my ultra marathon race, I have struggled with the motivation to push hard in training and to run races. But today there will be a 5 km cross country race that goes along the fjord back here right next to where I live. So I decided to sign up. And although it's a cross country race, the course is pretty flat and fast. And I have actually never raced a fast 5 km course before. So hopefully I can run my fastest 5k ever today. I think my fastest time from before is from a training session where I ran exactly 17 minutes. So hopefully sub 17 today. But I'm a bit worried how my body will respond to this race because the last couple of weeks my body hasn't felt good at all in any of my training sessions. And I think it's due to that I've had a lot of work and stress lately. But hopefully a race is uh, just what I need. So let's finish up this morning jog and get ready to race again. Whenever I'm running a race, I always have a pretty strict routine of everything I do leading up to the race. Both to get myself ready mentally, but also physically. And uh, directly after my morning run, I always have a, a bowl of porridge and uh, some coffee. And after this, the most difficult part will come, and that will be like the waiting game. Because uh, then I will have a couple of hours just waiting for the race to start. Especially now, because now I have so close to the start, so I'll just uh, do my warm-up uh, running over there. But usually you, you travel to the race, but now it will be a lot of waiting. But I guess I will listen to some music and try to get my head in the right place to, to finally race again. Finally the waiting game is over and I get to start my warm-up and usually my warm-up consists of about 30 minutes easy jogging and then I end it with a couple of strides to get ready to race. And if you think I'm looking pretty funny, it's because I'm wearing this 360 camera on my head and I haven't tried it before so I'll try it out to get to share the race with you. And it's not that uncomfortable, so hopefully the footage will be good from it uh, as well. So, are you ready to race? Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all actually. <laughs> not at all? <laughs> but it's pretty nice to have a jogging distance uh, to the start. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Do you like my hat, Oscar? Yes, <laughs> really nice. Pretty fashionable. <laughs> So now we're at a part of the course here and as you can see it's really flat but uh, the surface isn't the uh, fastest but it's yeah it should be possible to run pretty fast here and the start will be up there three minutes to start <laughs> The adrenaline from finally running a race again made me sprint pretty hard. It felt really good to go out in front of the pack and finally get the feeling of racing again. But I decided to turn down the pace just a bit to see if anybody else was eager to take the lead. And I was pretty happy when this runner even passed me so I could get some help keeping up a good pace in the first part of the course. I could feel that the others quickly dropped off and that Even pushed the pace pretty hard in front. But I still felt that the pace was okay, so I decided to try to stick to his back, staying in second place for the first part of the race. Starting this race I had no idea how strong the starting field would be, but already by this point it was pretty clear that this was going to be a fight between Even and me. And I was hoping that my body was going to continue feeling good so I could fight for the victory. Running on this part of the course that was on asphalt, I noticed that Even was wearing the super fast road shoes, uh, the Nike Vaporfly. 
and I was actually thinking of using my Nike Alpha Flies for this race, but I decided not to because I thought I needed a bit better grip on the trail sections of the course. So I used the Hookah Challenger ATR instead, a well-cushioned trail shoe that isn't super fast, but I hope that a good grip on the outsole will give me an advantage on the trail sections of the course where there was a lot of wet leaves. But turning into the trail here and onto a slight downhill section, Evan really pushed the pace, so I had to give him a slight gap for me to feel that the pace was sustainable. But I tried not to let him go too far and was hoping he had started a bit ambitious and that I could close the gap later on if I just kept a good consistent pace. At this point of the race I was feeling good, I was feeling that I had gotten a good start to the race and the gap to even in front had stabilized a bit and I was ready to soon start to push a bit harder. But here the race almost ended in a bad way for both Evan and me. The trail splits into three trails here, and from the course map I've seen before, the course was supposed to take the middle one. But then I saw Evan running in the left one, so of course I yelled after him and uh, got him to turn around, and watching the video now I think it's really clear and good markings uh, that show that you should uh, turn right. But I was so set on running in the middle one, like the course map said, so I also got a bit confused as well and had to stop uh, before both of us figured out where to go. Even lost a bit more time than me on this, so again I was a bit closer and I was feeling pretty good, so my plan was to keep a steady pace and then try to really start pushing after 3 kilometers. This middle part of any race I think is the toughest and where you need to work with your mind the most to keep a good pace. Because you are already feeling pretty tired but you also know that you have a long way to go. So I often try to trick my mind, so in this case I was just focused on pushing on to the 3k mark and then I knew that the last 2k often take care of themselves. Since I then can feel the finish line getting closer and closer and then it's a lot easier to handle the pain. I was super happy seeing that I passed the 3k mark in 10.11 and I knew that running under 70 minutes was within reach. And although I was pretty tired at this point, I was determined to push hard towards the finish. Here we only have 1k left and I still have a shot at running a sub 17 minutes 5k. But I would have to finish really strong and the last kilometer is on a slight uphill. So here I really try to push hard and still have a small hope of seeing Evans back again to be in the fight for the victory. I'm sprinting hard towards the finish line and will finish in a second place. And according to my GPS watch, the course was a little bit shorter than 5k, but I'm very happy with finishing in 16 minutes and 39 seconds. It was super fun being back racing again and my body responded uh, way better than I thought it would. So I'm very happy with my second uh, place today. So thanks for joining me on this race. And as always, train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.